Hey everybody! Have you ever seen or heard about felties and wondered what they are and what they're used for? Well, you've come to the right place. So, what's a feltie? A feltie is a small felt shape, usually made of felt, and has embroidered details. It has a plain felt backing. The entire feltie is made with an embroidery machine. You can use acrylic felt, wool blend felt, even marine vinyl or glitter canvas. Usually tearaway stabilizer is used, unless the design has a lot of stitches, such as this one. Felties come in a variety of shapes and designs and themes. Holidays, animals, food, messages, travel, occupations, sports, and countless others. Felties are a great beginner project, even for kids who can safely use an embroidery machine. They're easy and inexpensive to make. Craft projects using felties are a fun activity for kids, even teens in my experience. So what can you use them for? While their uses are limited only by your imagination, I'll show you examples to get you started. One popular use of felties is for bookmarks. You can see here I attached one on either side of a piece of ribbon. This bookmark uses fold over elastic. These two use paper clips. This one is a larger paper clip which gets glued onto the back. And this is a smaller paper clip. You can use these paper clip sliders which are available from AK Applique's Facebook group or you can just cut a slit in the back of the felty, put the end of the paper clip into it and glue it in place. For these two, I added ribbon to make a zipper pull and a bookmark. Felties are very popular as hair clips. You can glue them to a partially lined alligator clip, a snap clip, a plastic barrette, or one of these metal French barrettes. And this has an alligator clip with teeth and a bar pin all in one. In addition to hair clips, you can use felties as a bow center or add a little piece of felt onto the back to glue a ponytail band in place. Felties also make great embellishments for headbands. This one is glued onto a slider from AKA Applique to be placed onto a plastic headband and it's removable. Here's a stretchy headband using fold over elastic. You can also use this as a bookmark. These peanut butter and jelly felties would make great shoe clips. Here's a little fish with ribbon attached so you can put it on your zipper. Here's a little seahorse on a piece of fold over elastic that makes a bracelet. These would make great party favors. This little cactus made of glitter canvas has a bar pin on the back. Do you have to wear an ID badge for work? Well, spice it up with a felty. Make a pencil topper with a felty using a scrap of felt that's glued to the back to create a pocket for the pencil. This felty is adorable. You add a little pom-pom to it with some glue and put a magnet on the back and you have a festive decoration for your fridge. Here is a felty with a push pin on the back so you can decorate your bulletin board. You can even use felties to decorate your table. I made this napkin ring out of one and a half inch wide grow grain ribbon and glued the felty in place. If your kids like tic-tac-toe, you can use felties as game pieces. Just make six of each color. You can even mix and match different styles. Here's a chore chart. Each child chooses a felty design backed with a magnet and you can place this on your fridge. Whatever chore the child is assigned to, you put their felty right over it. You can add things such as ribbon and elastic to your felties right in the hoop. For this one, I did the placement stitch, then taped the elastic ends in place, stitched the rest of the felty, and then added the elastic to the back. It's now a headband or a bookmark. When deciding whether to use felt or vinyl for your felties, consider the item's end use. For something such as this badge clip, it's going to receive a lot of daily wear. So the vinyl was a good choice for this design because felt can often get worn out and pilly. This magnet is going to live on a refrigerator, so it's not going to see a lot of wear, so acrylic felt is just fine for this application. Same for this napkin ring. 
it's only going to be used once or twice a year. For this headband, I like the look of felt, but I needed something more durable, since it's going to be worn by a child, so I used a wool blend felt, which is more durable. I'm going to include links in the description below to all the supplies I used, along with all the felty designs. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below, and let me know which type of felty project you're going to try first. Thanks for watching!